Hi everyone, welcome to GELS Tech Ed. I'm Mr. Philip. Today we'll be looking at the components of the computer system, such as the motherboard, the hard drive, the RAM, and the CPU. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back to Gels Tech Ed. Now we're going to dive right into the components of the computer system. All right, so here we have the motherboard, all right? And the motherboard is basically the heart of the computer, the largest and fundamental part of the PC. Every other component is basically attached to it. All right, guys, in my hand, I have what is called a CPU. Any of you scholars know what this means? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, guys, some of you may wonder where on the motherboard the CPU is located. And for those who got the answer correct, congratulations. All right, so if you look closely here, it is located in this slot right here. And actually, a heat sink sits right over the CPU. Some persons call it the processor or the chip but it basically performs mathematical calculations. Alright guys, we looked at the motherboard and the CPU earlier. Now we're going to look at the RAM. If you know what the RAM is, please leave your comment below. Now, the RAM means random access memory. So for those who got it correct, congratulations. Now, if you come closer, you will see where we have the RAM slots. We have one, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to place this here just to show you how here. So once it is in the slot, we clip the two ends so that it can stay in the slot. So basically, the RAM stores information temporarily. RAM is used to store files being used by the CPU. Alright guys, we just spoke about the motherboard, the CPU, and the RAM. Now we're going to look at the power supply. Alright guys, so we're going to look at the power supply. So it basically supplies power to the other components of the computer. Hence why so many wires coming from it. It is actually located at the top right of the computer tower. It also comes with a fan that keeps it cool. If you look closely here, once it is plugged in, then the fan automatically comes on and starts to cool the system. Okay guys, so earlier we looked at the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, the power supply, and now we're going to look at the hard drive. All right guys, now what I have in my hand is called the hard drive. So this serves as a filing cabinet where programs and data are stored on the disk. When the computer access the hard drive, it is reading and moving data into the RAM. However, the original files still remain on the hard drive. Now, if you look closely here, there's a fan that is connected on the hard drive. Once this is plugged in onto the motherboard, then the fan automatically comes on once the computer is on in order to keep the hard drive cool. Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm hoping that you guys have learned a lot as regards to the components of the computer system. And please remember, keep your computer healthy. Remember, like, subscribe and share.